Being a YouTuber changed my life. I know that sounds very dramatic. I'm gonna share the reasons I think everyone should have a YouTube channel. I have been on YouTube in total, it's been about 10 years, <laughs> a long time, like literally a decade. I made my first YouTube video when I was a freshman in high school. I've now graduated from college. I have learned a lot about YouTube during that time. It's definitely been a huge journey and it's been it's a lot different now than it was back then. But you might think, why haven't you given up by now? You don't even have a thousand subscribers. Most people would have given up. And I did too, which is why I'm making this video because past me could have really used some guidance and some inspiration or just like a new perspective and a reason to keep going. So that's basically what this video is. It's not so much a how to get a th how's your, how to get a thousand subscribers, how to get rich. It's not one of those type of videos. I'm just going to be sharing some thoughts about my experiences and why I think YouTube has benefited me even though I'm not monetized and I haven't made a living off of it. First thing I would like to say is that I am very, very introverted. Anyone who knows me in real life knows that I do not really talk. I, most people probably have never heard me say even all this, like I don't act like this in real life that much. Not unless I'm like really, really passionate about something. But in general, I'm very reserved and I'm very introverted and laid back. Which I try to bring to this channel as well. I don't want to come across as something that I'm not. Like I'm not going to be like, hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Blah, 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 blah. That's how it used to be in my past channels, which is one of the reasons why it didn't last very long. But for me, YouTube has been a way for me to express myself in a way that I haven't really been able to do in person. And it also has been a great avenue for me to learn how to talk, <laughs> how to like verbalize my thoughts and my opinions, and how to actually say them in a way that like makes sense to other people. It's definitely helped with the public speaking aspect of things, feeling more comfortable talking and sharing my opinions and treating this like I'm actually having a conversation with you all and like I'm talking to someone one-on-one. -on -one. It definitely helps translate into talking to other people in general in real life. So that is a plus. When you film yourself regularly, you learn a lot about yourself and you learn a lot about how you speak. You learn about your different mannerisms, your tone of voice. You learn how many facial expressions you use. Like, you're very, very acutely aware of all the little things you do. They can be good, they can be bad, but you're aware of them. And it gives you a reason to look deeply into that, which some people don't really talk about, but it gives you a reason to look at yourself from someone else's point of view and to see how they see you. So most people don't get that if you're just, if you're not putting yourself out there. You don't necessarily know how you're coming across to other people. So being a YouTuber, being someone who puts themselves out pretty regularly, puts themselves out there, it's um, something that has helped me learn more about my appearance and my body language and to get better at expressing myself the way that I actually want to be perceived. Another thing along with that is just helping me get out of my comfort zone. Um, by posting these videos, I it is nerve-wracking. You never know who's gonna watch. You never know what the comments are going to be. And that is pretty scary, <laughs> especially when you're new and you don't have a built-in support system of like followers and people who already love your work. Putting yourself out there is very daunting. So you get to do things that scare you every time you upload a video. You get to test that fear of rejection. You get to test and like push yourself a little bit further, push your comfort zone a little bit further. Which is good because being able to be comfortable talking to people and putting yourself out there is only going to be helpful. It's going to be helpful no matter what you'd want to do in life and being able to withstand negative comments and rejection 
low views, all the downsides that can come with YouTube, being able to withstand that and still keep making videos is a skill that will carry on into whatever endeavor, whatever career, whatever goals you have. It's definitely something that I feel is very transferable. Not everyone is good at that. Not everyone is good at being able to let things go. That's another thing. I'm kind of just blurring them all together. But you do develop thicker skin by having a YouTube channel. You kind of have to. If you want to keep going, people can be ruthless. And they point out all the little things that you don't even notice about yourself. They point them out. And if you're not thick, if you don't have thick skin and you let them get to you, you just will never get to the point that you actually want to get to. It will just stop you there. It has happened to me before. I've let comments get to me. I believe now, looking back over the years, I have gotten, I've gotten a lot better at this. I just having confidence within myself and not letting other people's judgments and insecurities get to me as much. Another thing, this might be the fourth or the fifth thing, having a YouTube channel is like the ultimate creative outlet for the 21st century. I didn't know where it was going when I first said that, but having a YouTube channel is like next level, like what I think all creatives should be doing. If you're an artist, if you are a music producer or a songwriter or um, an author, if you're any type of creative, I think you should be like trying to cement yourself on this platform because it has established that it's here to stay. Like TikTok, TikTok almost got shut down. That was scary. My largest following is on TikTok right now. I was very scared I was going to lose everything that I had built for the past couple of years on there. But YouTube, YouTube's not going anywhere. And that's something that you can see. It's been here for probably almost two decades. So it's definitely here to stay. For that reason, I believe that it is the ultimate platform. It's the ultimate platform. So if you are a creative, if you're a creative type and you don't have a YouTube channel, I would definitely consider making one because you never know who's going to be watching your videos. You never know who might follow you and find your website, who might find your portfolio. You never know what type of opportunities you're going to be getting and who might find you through your YouTube. So I keep putting these videos out even though I'm not at a thousand subscribers. Hopefully I get to that soon. Um, subscribe below if you like this video. I'm gonna keep making these because I feel like it is helping me grow. It's helping me become a better speaker, a better storyteller. It's helping me become a much more well-rounded creator. I get to learn a lot of skills in marketing, in SEO, video editing, photo editing, content writing, and scripting. And I get to learn all of these things, technical and soft skills that can be transferable to any career, anything that I want to do going forward. I can know that by making these videos, I'm helping myself and putting myself in a position where it's only going to help me grow. I don't see any like serious downsides to making YouTube videos. I'm choosing to only look at the positives and all the potential that comes with it. Because there's so, there's so much potential on YouTube. Knowing that I'm doing this for myself is a benefit all, all of its own. Like just knowing that I'm continuing to stick through something, that I chose something and I'm sticking to it no matter what. Having that level of like grit and perseverance helps boost my confidence in, my, in myself and in my art and in what I'm doing because I know that I can do this. Like if I want to stick to something, I can. It has built a lot of like self-trust, confidence in myself and in my abilities. Cause I know that if I set a schedule, I will I can stick to it. If I make a script, I know that it's going to be good. Like I'm at the point where I'm trusting my creative abilities more and I'm trusting my voice more. And I don't think I would have gotten to this point had I not been making YouTube videos for almost a decade. I keep going back to that. I've been doing YouTube a long time. And I'm just now seeing how far I've come with it and like how much I've learned. And it just makes me like, I get so like ah, like excited thinking about that. Like I've really come 
a long way. Like this is my third channel. This is my third YouTube channel. I'm not showing you my other ones. Some videos are still up if you looked for them, but I'm not showing them. I had one in high school, I had one in college, and now I have this YouTube channel where I'm discussing all things business, entrepreneurship, and creativity. So that's where I'm at now, and I'm gonna stop this video before I keep rumbling on and on. I feel like I can just go on about how cool YouTube is. YouTube is one of my favorite things to learn about, so maybe I'll make more videos about that. I kind of absorb YouTube information like SEO and how to do this, how to do that. It's like one of my favorite things to learn about. Like I just said that. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. One thing I also learned is how to discern when I'm actually saying something important and when I'm rambling because I'm the one who's editing my videos. So I'm gonna stop and I hope you like this video. I hope it gave you more insight into why I'm doing YouTube and why I think you should be doing YouTube as well. And if you liked it, please actually like the video and also subscribe because it'll help me get past a thousand subscribers and it'll actually help me boost my channel and get it to more people. And I'll see you in my next video. I make videos once a week, every Monday. I'll see you in my next one.